In this video, we're going to perform a VLOOKUP that pulls back multiple matches for a single search item in Microsoft Excel. So you can see here, I have a data set of orders. I have four different clients, and each of them has multiple orders. And ultimately, we want to perform a VLOOKUP based on the search value in this cell here and return all of the orders for that client over here. So there's more than one way to do this, but I just want to cover what I think is the easiest approach, which is to add a helper column to your data set. So that's what we'll do. So I'm going to select column A, hit control plus to add a column to the left. We'll call this column lookup. And this is going to be a two part formula in this first column here. So the first thing we want to do is grab the cell to the right, our client ID, and then we're going to use the AND symbol to join this to the count if function. So the count if just counts how many occurrences of something there is in a range. So our range, and this part is very important, not difficult, but very important. Um, so it's going to be the starting point of our client ID values, which is cell B2. And we want to lock the top end of this range. So we need a dollar sign in front of both the column and the row reference because we want it to stay fixed. So for the bottom part of this range, it's going to be the same cell, that B2, our starting point but it's not going to be locked. We want it to be relative so that it moves dynamically when we drag down our formula. So that is our criteria range. The next input is our criteria, which is also going to be that same cell because we want to do a running count if based on whatever row we're currently on. So when I hit enter, that returns Wilson group one. So that is truly a running count. When I drag it down, you can see it gets the next sequence for that client ID. And when I drag it down all the way, it does the same for all of the other clients. So now we're ready to begin our VLOOKUP function. So the first input is our lookup value, which is gonna be this cell here. So I'm going to add fixed column and row references in front of that because we want that to always point to that cell. So <clears throat> our lookup column is column A now, and you can see it has the client name with a number on it. So what we need to do is dynamically add something here that will add a number to this value here. So what I'm going to use is the row function that returns the row number of whatever row we're currently on, which right now is three, but we need our count to begin at one. So I'm going to subtract two from that. That will dynamically get us a value of one here for our count. And when we drag this down, it will get us to a count of two and so on and so on. So that is our lookup value. Our table array is just going to be this area over here where we want to perform our lookup. Now our third argument is our column index which we could just put a value of 2 here because the client ID is column 2 in our lookup array. But I want something dynamic so that when I drag this across it dynamically gets the correct column without me having to type it in. So what I'm going to insert here is the match function. What the match function does is it returns the position of a lookup item in an array. So our lookup item would be this header here. And probably one thing I need to mention on the side is this match will only work if the headers here are the same as the headers in your lookup array. So our lookup value for the match is this cell here and what I want to do is keep the column relative but the row locked 
so that when we drag down, it still points to this row, but when we drag across, the column moves dynamically. So our lookup array is just going to be this first row of headers here. And I want to lock both the column and the rows on that because we always want to point to that. The final input of the match is the match type. We want a zero for an exact match. So that gets us our column reference. And then our final input of the VLOOKUP is the type of match we want. We want an exact match, which would be false or zero. So I hit enter. You can see that pulls back Wilson group. When I drag this across, we get the first record for the Wilson group. So I drag this down and you know each of these client IDs doesn't have the same amount of orders so I'm just going to drag it all the way down. Now once there's no more matches we get NAs and we don't want to show that so what we can do is add the if error function in front of that so if there's not a match we can just tell it to pull back nothing which is two double quotes. So I'll drag this across and down again and now they're gone and we just have our matches. So if I change this to anybody else, it should pull back the matches for that particular client. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.